Pottery Barn sells a white and very wintry looking pine cone wreath for about 150 bucks, but you can make it for 30. It's large, it's full, it's lighted too. A handsome handmade pine cone wreath is one that you will have in your collection for years. Michelle Bauer is here to show us how to make it. It's great to see you. Thank you. You got your project. I know, I That's tried. That's the sign right? of a very coordinated <laughs> woman. This is really beautiful. Actually, there's a breathtaking effect to it. What do you like about this project? You know what, I love that it looks super upscale. It does. Yeah, it looks uh, trendy, upscale, and I like that it's versatile. So I could really display this in my home from November all the way through the winter season. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to change it up for the different holidays, all I would have to do is switch out the ribbon, or you could really just eliminate the ribbon altogether if you wanted a different look. It's lit, that is impressive to me. How did you do that? Okay, so check this out. What? <gasps> Lit with a remote? With a remote. So I found these battery operated lights uh -huh. on Amazon. And with the lights, a few items from the craft store and some pine cones, anyone can put this together okay. really easily. That's magical. I splurge this Halloween with a Halloween doormat that when you step on it. Oh, I had one too. It lights up. It yes. was a hit. It was the <laughs> Halloween hit at my house and yeah. to anyone who knocked on our trick or treat door. But this would have the same effect, that warm glow right when you walk through the doorway. I love it. Sure. I love it so much. Yes. All right, show us how you did it. Okay, so what you need to do is pick up a wreath form, uh -huh. a foam wreath form from the craft store. The one that I used on this one was 14 inches. Okay. You are gonna need a ton of hot glue. Which, can I go back to the size for a minute? I feel like in any other sense, 14 inches might feel kind of small, but the way you have layered this up and filled this out with the pine cones, it looks a lot bigger than this form. Yeah, so um, with the pine cones along the edges, I mean, it's just gonna make it you need to consider that yeah. when buying your form because right. it'll just make it bigger. Yeah, all right, lots of glue, you said. So lots of glue. So the first thing you wanna do is grab some burlap ribbon. Mm -hmm. We haven't reached for burlap in a while. <laughs> it's about time, I've missed you. I know. <laughs> so you're gonna just start wrapping it around the wreath form okay. and then just hot glue the edge and wrap it around the entire thing because once you put the pine cones on here, uh -huh. you don't want the green form to be showing through. So this is just a wrap, kind of it's, a foundation blur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after you do that, you are going to grab your battery operated lights and I will link all my products on my Instagram page. Okay, are you using a special glue with foam? No, okay. just hot glue. Regular hot glue. Just regular hot glue. So what you wanna do is just start wrapping the lights around the burlap. Okay. And I don't glue them on or anything like that. What I do is just take some burlap twine mm -hmm. and just tie the ends. Just tie it in a couple spots and then cut off the extra. Okay. Because you're not gonna see it anyway. And what do you do with the battery pack? It's so kind of clunky. It is kind of clunky. So what I do is I just make sure it's right on a flat spot on the back. Okay. And you can tape it down or you could glue it down or mine is held on by the ribbon. Oh yeah, I see that now. So, the ribbon comes around and just kind of nestles it right up against the yeah, back of Yeah, exactly. Itself. So yeah. just make sure when you wrap your lights around that this will fit snugly against the back. Okay, I am totally doing this, Michelle. I'm I know, so excited. Yeah, me too. Okay, next step. Okay, so after we have our lights on, then what we want to do is build a foundation. Okay. So we get our larger pine cones, and I found the pine cones just in my yard, um, in the park by my house, uh -huh. free, totally free. Nice. So you wanna build your foundation, you wanna put them all around the outside. And hot glue. All, hot glue, mm -hmm. all along the inside. Once that is dry, you take the rest of your pine cones and it's really fun, it'll make it look prettier if they're in different shapes mm -hmm. and sizes. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you hot glue them and just start layering. You did a ring in the center too, which is, again, kind of, it stretches the circumference of the of the wreath, so a, yeah. a foundation around the outside, they turn inward mm -hmm. in the middle and then just start filling in. Yep, start filling in and when we have our solid base, it'll help keep these in place a Stabilize. little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we just wanna start layering the different sizes, hot gluing them. Are you arranging the lights as you go? I mean, I know they're subtle, the effect is subtle, but you kinda want them to poke through a little bit, right? Yeah, so I didn't even, mess I thought, with it? I didn't even mess with it okay. or think of it. And if you get hot glue on your lights, it's not gonna ruin them okay. or anything like that. And if you see your glue, it won't change the effect because what we're gonna do after we have these all 
all layered, mm -hmm. is we're going to take this um, mm. spray snow. Listen, it's first, so fun. First project where the spray snow is coming out. <laughs> That's how we know the seasons are changing around here. <laughs> That's right. So, and this stuff is so fun. It is fun. I read the can. It said it's good for outside yeah. and everything. Yeah. So, um, do you want me to give you give a little demo? Give it a demo? hit. We've got some good ventilation. Okay. So, good enough. This stuff takes about 24 hours to dry in between coats, so oh. you don't want to put it on too thick. Okay. And um, I did like two coats. There it goes. And it has a texture to it, right? It's not just a color like a spray paint, but it takes on that clumpy snow effect. Yeah, you can get the clumpy snow effect. So it looks really pretty and it gives it kind of a finished, classy look. I love this so much. It's so doable. So easy. Anybody could do it. Low cost and it looks very upscale. Yeah, from the flocking to the lights. And then you wrapped it, like you said, with the ribbon, kind of a thicker ribbon that runs all the way around, can hang it from the door and also secure that battery pack into place. Yes. Michelle, I love it so much. Everyone is going to be wowed by this upscale wintry white wreath with the lights. The lights make it as far as I'm concerned. So fun. Thank you yeah, for sharing for this project. Uh, 30 bucks. You'll pay a lot more for the retail version and you won't even be able to tell the difference. I'm telling you right now. Where can we get more project ideas from you? Um, follow my Instagram page at underscore the pink lemon. The pink lemon. We'll link you over from our website too. Be sure to follow this gal for more projects like this. And thanks for bringing our first snow project to the Thank studio. You. We're going to lean in. We're just going to lean into that.